And hello, folks. It is Zaka Mikasa here to bring you another game from uh, that I have found from Nine Gag, a site which has literally reached rock bottom of what it used to be. But I did see this, and it was card based, so it got my interest. It's called Sovereign Syndicate. Um, it's not out yet, but you can get a demo on Steam, or at least at the time that I got this. Uh, and I'm just gonna hop in and see what it's like. Atticus awakens. Follow Atticus daily as he explores the seedy underbelly of London's East Docks, Docklands in search of his mother for reason of living and his next fix. Fix. I'm not finishing sentences well, am I? New game. So from what uh, it said in its brief description um, on 9 Gag was that it is a card-based game based on tarot cards. Just a focus. Wait. Open a crowded orphanage using illusionary magic and abilities that disguise himself as human. Starting attributes: self-discipline, wit, dryness, conjuring. That sound is annoying. Uh, retreating from an unforgiving world. I'll just leave my mouse there then. Challenges with a sharp mind and a silver tongue. Starting attributes, eight wits, self-discipline, animal instinct, persuasion. So is this like an RPG based kind of thing too? So it's an RPG card game based on tarot cards. Animal instinct, spryness, and wit. And then spryness, animal instinct, and self-discipline. So it's like the same three that's just mixed in different orders. Which technically could have a total of like what, six combinations? Uh, fine motor, intimidation, or persuasion. Can I? Nope, I can't even read that. But let's go with uh, persuasion, just so I can tell people to do things. Because why not? A dark shape looms over you against the guttering, against the guttering lamplight. The black shadowed form hovers unsteadily, like a cutout from a magic lantern. You can't be sure whether it's real, living, a real living thing or another grim manifestation from your own weak long bender, which at first blush, you appear to have survived. First blush? Is that the- is this like appropriate English throughout this? I'm- well, I'm not an aficionado of the past, so I guess I wouldn't know. Or is this, in fact, death come to claim you? <laughs> Question mark? In any case, that specter seems to be in no hurry to move along. Painful memories prick your gin addled gin addled brain. Now you recall why you're here. You choose the alleyway in London's East End to drown your last of your days. To drown the last of your days in drink. Well if it's apparition Well, if this apparition isn't the angel of death, then even at suicide you have failed. Did I just, like, read that wrong? Is my brain, like, not here? Or did that just... Was, like, choptastic English? Oh, what? We got a text adventure, too, while we're at it? 40 HP, 50 nerve. Do not allow it to reach zero. Oh, let me guess. Do not allow it to reach zero. Well, thank you for the, you know, statements of obvious necessities. Necessities. Old crone, Atticus, he's coming, wake up. Get out of my head, you old crone. Atticus Daly. How does he know my name? Wait, what are my stats? Self-discipline 15, constitution plus zero, card drawn plus question mark, total... So what about Animal Instinct? Where's my stats? Well, that... This doesn't make a whole lot of... So am I at 12 or am I at 0? Oh, 0 yellow bile to the next perk. 10 phlegm. So I need snot to bring up my discipline. <laughs> I need blood for spryness, and I need black bile for next perk on wit. Um, 
but my animal instinct is 12, my self-discipline is 15. And my animal instinct being 12 versus... Plus one nerve, what about... Sure, why not, try to speak. 66% chance, I'm good with that. Ooh. Left is always right. An upside down world. Wouldn't that be bad? Well, it didn't even tell me what I did with it. Was that bad or good? So I failed. I had a 1 in 3 chance that I failed, even though a 1 in 3 chance out of 2 cards seems a little weird. Instead of response, he uh, proffers me a tin stippled flask. Sure, take it eagerly. Ten Vigor. Vigour. Is that right? Vigour? I've been hoping for the hair of the dog, but alas, it's only been a, a chloric, chloric bite of London tap water. Chloric. I don't know these words. What is chloric? C-H-L-O-R-I-C. Chloric. What? Relating to or containing chlorine in the prevalent state or pentavalent state. What? Is there more options for it being used? Chloric state. Chloric bite. What is chloric bite? Maybe that's just a phrase itself. No, that... Nothing. Alright. Better than a parched mouth, or at least... And at least a bit restorative. Stowing the flask, the stranger leans back into the dim light of the gas lamps. I can finally see his features in full. Oh, cool. Like, top-down. Uh, kind of reminds me of, uh, like, Baldur's Gate. Kind of, in its little setup. A little bit. Uh, he wears a brass button traveling waistcoat, complete with a scarlet hood and a mask of ornate gold panels. It glitters in the gaslight. The gaslight? Okay, uh, uh, delicately crafted. Binary, like I've never seen. Clothing, especially well made. Can't you do that on, like, Clork so I could know what Clork was? On your feet now, you sorry sight. Hello, uh, robotic man. He looks like some kind of tin soldier. Uh, who are you and what do you want from me? I need a moment to get my bearings because I couldn't talk before, but I can talk now. Uh, dizzy from the head rush. It's hard to keep my balance. Well, who are you and what do you want? A friend and in need of your services. A friend, but a man of his station, so deep in the Docklands, spells trouble. And then, it makes me choose this anyway. I need a moment to get my bearings. Fair enough, but I'll be watching. The stranger pulls back his waistcoat, showing off a gilded flintlock pistol. Yeah, some of these other things that you've said would be great if you knew this. But I know what a flintlock pistol is. Over the years, many a minge bag have come to collect. This barmy naff is no different. A despicable person. Crazy mad. Someone lacking to taste or style. I mean, are, are you teaching me old English lessons, or are you we playing a game? And what's this journal? All right. Ooh, wit and sprightness. See, these don't show, like, the percentages and stuff from before. So many outstanding debts and foregone second chances. Is this all catching up to me? Wait, no matter, let it be. Tonight, then, spryness, he can take it all. What do I have? I have... Wit. My wit is 18, so let's go with wit. One black vial. New journal entry. Is there no recourse? Do I find it so poetic to knock at death's door with my affairs in order and a farewell note in hand? 
Old crone, come now. Surely things aren't so dire. What, you're not gonna explain dire to me? Task started, the old crone. What is this? Oh, find out who the crone is before she drives you mad. Well, apparently a voice inside my head. Uh, self-discipline. It's up to me, seeing every impulse to an outcome, snuffing out pleasures of life. So should I, should I so desire? What I need is peace and quiet, a place to clear my mind. Or can't hardly focus on pleasure in such a state. There are far too many voices in my head. It's the same choice. Ooh. That's, that's pretty well done. I... I thought it was going to be, like, some kind of, uh... Can I have this? Cane sword, an evening cane concealing a steel blade in a cherry wood sheet. Below the brass figurehead is a band of a crushed velvet. Wit, battle scarred, and with a war hand worn handle. Self-reaction, take the cane with me. I'm going to take it with me, because now I have a weapon. Okay, I can't read that. What about this? I didn't pay attention to where that guy went. Can I equip this? Or it's just what I have? I mean, this game piqued my interest mainly because, like, the card game aspect. Is this, a, like, a steampunk kind of universe? Containment defense. Military grade reinforced barbed wire and the sign reads Werewolf Containment Zone and luminescent paint. Electric bolts arc between the fence posts. A smoky ozone scent flooding your nostrils. Uh, self discipline with a full moon, still a few days off. It might be safer instead of a uh, whim of the stranger in his brocade waistcoat. Mechanisms. 84% chance. Well, it's just a pile of kindling and wire. I'll take a running start. You know, I still want to do... I like these, uh, these chance things. And left is always right. Ooh, six of wands. I don't know what that means. Silk-wrapped cables running through a switch box. That must be the power source. I'll have to be careful. What was the point? I thought I was, like, making my way through it. I thought I was making my way past it. Was what the gist of what I was getting here. Anything in here? Bull Walking Simulator 2022, almost 2023. Ooh, restaurante. Which is closed, obviously, because everything's closed. Oh, wait, are you the dude? Oh, there you are. Let's just continue on. Uh. With a loose grip on his foot. Like, I don't give a crap. You left me back there. Right then, you ready sight. Let's get going. We need you batting on a full wicket. I have never heard any of these phrases ever sent it, said at any point in time in anything I've ever seen. Let's see. Batting on a full wicket. Ah, there is a search for it. Idioms. I want to know when this idiom was, like, in existence. Primarily heard in UK, Australia. And it comes up on sticky wicket, not full wicket. I'm not finding one that says batting on a full wicket. Uh, word forms. Sticky wicket, sticky wicket, sticky wicket. Definitions of not batting on a full wicket on onelooker.com. Found one dictionary that includes the word not batting on a full wicket. So it, it's very, very unused language even back then, it seems like. Ooh, 28% chance. I like that. Cost one Vigor. Vigour. Uh, Sprite is 10. Coordination plus zero. Card drawn plus blank. Difficulty? I would need to get 21. Okay, so if it's upside down, it's negative, and if it's upside right, it's positive, I'm guessing. So when I got the world, I got negative 100, the worst possible draw I possibly could have ever gotten. 
having the strength to resist. Could put a bullet through my heart in half a moment. Now is not the right time to challenge him. Yep, I'm going to go for this. Da da da! And I drew a one. Do I get shot? Question of speed and dexterity. I make a pass for the flintlock revolver on his waist. He draws it, shoots me. Catches my wrist where the bones are delicate. Wrenching my elbow in the opposite direction, I can only hope not to be crippled. Minus ten nerve. Can't shake me off. I'm not one of your debts. He looks like a like a king. Uh, the king from uh, what was it Batman Beyond? Or the or the Jack? No, it was the king or the Jack that had the lovely little monocle. A cloud of sudden uh, fear drains the color from the world. This cove has seen combat. You could have just said this man. I mean, this, the word sets, you've got, like, mixed word sets here, in my opinion. And it, you could have just said this man has seen combat instead of this cove. Because my brain went to cove being something completely different. Somehow shimmering in his eyes, letting me know he would kill again. Minus ten Vigour. Ooh, it took nerve from me. That's what it does. Okay, do not allow it to reach zero. Well, I'm going to try and make it reach zero. Why? Because it will be entertaining. Uh, fine then. Well, oh, yeah, all right, that's enough. I can see I've met my match, or fine then. I'll go along willingly. Stupid things making me... Don't give me two choices when neither of the choices do damn thing. Acting the stranger was ill-advised. Some sort of magic lies behind that mask. I would want to try that again. Like... There is no save option. And then see if I could uh, possibly draw something better. Or if this is preordained in the gaming world. I don't know how else you'd want to put that. 82% chance. That seems likely. Wit persuasion. Drawn card. And so, 82% chance. Nine of wands. Yeah, thanks for the great description. Somewhere I'll be more comfortable. My head hangs low and a man is condemned, but I'd rather not suffer any more than I have to. But, well, whatever he's planning, I'll find out soon enough. Does my head hang low? Um, these answers are pointless. I mean, I'm liking the premise of how the game is designed, but so far it's, it's just... I'm lost in any kind of flow or any kind of absorbing of, like, the story. And I'm getting bothered by that. It seems like London left you behind. Humor me for the evening. Otherwise, I'll deliver the bounty on your head, and I won't have wasted any time. So, he found me in the middle of a street, unconscious, and he wants to take me somewhere nice, and if I don't follow him, he just turns me in anyway. Somewhere comfortable. That does sound promising. Still, What's he have in store for me? Your headache rages with a fierce second wind, and every step is a hammer and nail in your psyche. The stranger's reckless pace makes only makes matters worse, his arm like a vice grip, dragging you down a mismaze of twisted alleyways, until at last a spring of paper lanterns appears. Buoys wait, buoys? Is it How do you spell buoys? Is it B-O-U-Y? No, it's B-U-O-Y. Buoys. That just looks weird. I thought I was crazy, and I am crazy. That is spelt correctly, I guess. Buoys in a sickening sea of night. The cherry glow of Red Lantern Lane. R-L-L. Within the waves of jasmine and sandalwood in incense, memory washes fear away. This might be the only place that could have convinced you to keep on living, even just for a night. The gas mantle above the door fills you with fondness, cleansing the rust of your mind-gouging hangover. You've arrived at the Red Lotus Den, RLD, the only place you've ever felt at home. No need to be pulled along now, you go willingly inside. That 
happy now. Self-discipline, body aches, persistent nausea. From a physical standpoint, I'm barely holding together. So am I saying this to him, or... Allow me to rephrase. Have you been, ever been happy? Recollection? Or animal instinct? I'd rather do, like, I like the chance things. Many years ago, but it's too far back to recall. It seems like my, my percentage chances are much lower than what it's portraying it to me. Uh, no matter, this fellow is reading my thoughts anyway. Better I avoid private memories. Withdrawals. They can mutter our heads and make us weak. Don't worry, you'll feel better soon. It's been very... I mean, it looks good, but it, it's been very vague on everything, and I'm not quite feeling pulled in yet. Ah. Take it back. Cool. Okay, that was good, because that increased my, uh, Viger. Vigour. Oh, the Vigour is my health. And then the nerve is, well, what allows me to make decisions. I don't know why I had to sneeze. Seems like every time I start recording or something, I have to sneeze. New journal entry. Bath was just a thing for a damp chill in my bones. Can I do it again? No, it just it doesn't add anything to it, which is good, because that would be a little loophole. There's like police outside my house. Well, that's a little oddly timed, a little weird in itself. Um, the reason why I state that is Panta just visited my doorstep. Uh, it looks like the police are out there going to door to door giving paper bags full of what got out only assume as illicit drugs uh, known as uh, candy. There's, uh, staples in here. Hold on, let's see what's in here. A brown paper bag. Ah, first of all, one. An orange. And citrus. I am just not a, uh, how would you call that? A fruit fan. And then we got 
I'll enjoy. Snickers. I'll enjoy. Snickers. Dum Dum. Flavor. Strawberry milkshake. Dum Dum. Flavor. Mystery. Candy cane. Flavor. Peppermint. I like peppermint. Peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's. And a keychain. Well, I, I thank Santa for coming by because is this one of those like, what what is this supposed to be? Is this like a, a fidget thingy? Are you like, push buttons? Uh, partially going away because of my green screen. Doesn't actually have holes in it, I promise. It just looks that way. Interesting. I guess it's just something to fidget with. I've always been curious about these things, but, um, I digress. That's. That's what just showed up at my door in the middle of the recording. Alright. Now that things have changed a little bit, you know what? Oh, they're melted. Oh god. Are they all melted? Oh, well, that one's not melted. It's just the mystery one that looks... It actually looks like someone ate part of it and stuck it back in the bag. But we're gonna avoid that one. And enjoy this one, the uh, strawberry milkshake. A brass linted mahogany bar lined with candles casting eerie shadows on centaur. On the centaur behind. Oh, I didn't realize he was a centaur. Centaur behind it. His uni. Equine? Equine. Uh, like, is that like equestrian? So, equine? Equine musk sweat cuts? Because it says relating to horses. So, I'm gonna assume it's pronounced equine, like equestrian. Yes, I don't know. Is equine musk sweat cuts through the. cuts through the smell of incense? Be careful there. Centaurs are known to have short fuses. I think Minotaurs are also ones that have short fuses. Uh, self reflection especially after long hours of service occupations. Self-discipline. Some centaurs have been kind to me. I won't pass judgment until he proves me wrong. Animal instincts. Cantankerous creatures. Sure as sun up. If I had feeling for every centaur on a power trip, you know what? I'm going to try and be nice. One phlegm. Uh, been kind to me. I won't pass judgment. How about Mr. Browncoat? He's rather unique. Hi, Bixby Browncoat. The owner here... Oh my god, my phone has this stupid thing called Bixby and it just turned on, even though I have the entire thing turned off. Um, the owner here at the Lotus, most nights he's waiting at the bar, so I hope he hasn't taken ill. Cast my illusion, I'd rather appear human than have than cause a scene. Maybe if I wait around, they will show up. I can set up my phone again. Fortune favors the bold. Let's get this over with. What was my highest stat? Brightness was my lowest stat. Um, my highest is wit, so... Maybe if I wait around, Bixby will show up. My phone didn't go off. Good. Uh, well... But he could be gone in a while. Must be the press of business drawing him away from the uh, front of the house. So what am I doing? Centaur bouncer? The centaur leers his misshapen chin. A shelf 
for his cigarette, jutting from the jangle of bad teeth. His bare chest is stricken with psoriasis, and the scaly rash reddens his hawk-marked cheeks. God, I ha I'm having such a hard time reading this and to enjoy it. I mean, the details are great. You know, don't don't mind me on the fact of having details. It's just so many words that I have never used in my entire life. Hawkmarked, it would be one of them. Good evening, sir. We'd like to gain admittance. The scaly... The scally? That's scally, right? Roguish self... Yeah, okay. The scally ignores him and turns to me instead. Must say I'm impressed by his nerve. Let the cow pie speak. Looks like he's got a, some quarrel with yours truly. No, I actually specifically chose not to have a problem. No quarrel, just here for the lotus. What lotus? Is that so? We're here for the lotus, nothing more. Not buying it. This one's got a screwed up fizz. Physique? We're talking about... Uh, okay, as much as... Uh, it, do you have a glossary of all these words that I'm learning? Because you might as well start adding that in here too, so I can relive this experience instead of hovering over every time it's said. I'm just not used to this brand of potpourri. I know it's potpourri. Leave me alone. Uh, did someone forget to muck out your stall this morning? Now nah, I'm gonna be nice. Chris Wajan, 78% chance. Three. So is blue up and red down? I smile as agree agreeably as possible. Come now, have a laugh. You must be new here, seeing as you don't recognize me. Maybe I'll have a word with Bixby about his new staff. Bixby, aye. Well, we'll see about that. He'll be making his rounds any minute. Hi. I'm guessing you're popping in. Self-reflection. Out trots Mr. Browncoat. Surely come to see what the fuss is about. He has a distinguished long face countenance, sporting a gold pocket watch and a lavender tinted pincenes with octagonal frames, settled low on his aquiline nose. Now, I don't know what aquiline means, yet you didn't highlight that one? I'm guessing like his uh, dainty tiny nose or his ginormous schnoz, one of the two. A uh, pair of eyeglasses with nose clips instead of earpieces. Oh, so it's like with dunk, but that still could be like a giant nose or a tiny nose. Um, good to see brown coat again. I can always count on him to treat me right, Minotaur or not. My money's the same color as everyone else's. There's a delta of wrinkles around his eyes, the same uh, sienna brown as his shiny coat of fur. What's going on out here? I was just coming out for a go-round, and what do I come upon but an argument in a foyer? Your new bouncer didn't recognize us. Sorry there, Bix. But the bouncer was just saying how minotaurs are no longer welcome at your fine establishment. Ooh, I could be an ass to him. You know what? This time, this time I'm gonna be an ass. That's one blood. Sorry there. Oh, I just said that. Why not? A minotaur is welcome here, like any other customer. Oh yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Browncoat. I should have known. Yes, you should have. We'll talk about this later. As you can see, there is clients to entertain. Bixby darts, disapproving the look at the bouncer. Though, I'm, I want to see his nose. His I can't quite tell if his nose is really big, oddly sized, or whatever that is, because I don't know what that word means still. I'm not going to look up any more words on Google just to try and understand what the hell I'm playing here. I suppose good to hard it, it blah, blah, I'm so I suppose good help is hard to find nowadays. But rest assured, you'll have a private booth and a bottomless hot tea on the house. Now gents, let us away to the lotus. Bixby ushers you through a door and leads the way down the back stairs. The stranger on your heels like a stubborn shadow. The red lotus is draped in a haze of pale smoke, dotted with flickering candles and incense glowing like the cinders in the night. The smell of the burning opium in the dark is dark and rich. 
like a batch of overdone, overdone biscuits with a sharp, fishy afterbite. The pale red glow from the Chinese lanterns paints the space in perpetual twilight. It's easy to lose track of time within these walls, whiling away your days in a blissful waking dream. Ooh, little, like, robot. Hello, robot. Are you my friend? What's that gear clattering racket? A jet of stream cuts through the quiet of the den. Wait, a curious machine. I wonder how it works. What an automaton doing here. It's not as if it can partake. Bugger off, you brass bucket. 9% chance. I mean, I want to talk to it. I'm curious. It's got an arsenal heart drum. Arsenal engines. Not arsenal as in weaponry. Arsenal as in engines. I would never have known that. Consumer machines and advanced devices. That's a top flight boiler. Ball and socket legs and pressurized feet. There's nothing run of the mill about it. Sorry there. Didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> startle. Sorry. I don't need this to pop up every time. Doodles. Off it goes, heading for the private section. Oh. Apparently I have to walk around that way. Oh, because this is the way to go. No, can't click there, can't click there. Ooh, bookshelf. Let's take a look. Sturdy yet musty old bookshelf. The spines show much titles as the arcane magic on the eastern edge of ruin. Opium through the ages and parlor games. Love in the dream time. I don't know why in is capitalized, but... Uh, couldn't there be a secret door behind it? Mechanisms. Yes, I would definitely do that. Left. Minus 100. How many cards are in a tarot deck? And I've drawn that upside down twice now. So blue does not mean upside right. Orc and automaton. Evening, stranger. The dwarf has a warm and am amiable look. With the sort of lucid blue eyes I couldn't stray angry at. Stay angry at, not stray. Wit. His gaze is so sharp and clearly intelligent that I find myself intrigued. Below his crystal blue eyes is a broad nose and a red mustache. So full that it just might crawl off his face and build a cocoon. His beard is as red as a skinned rabbit, braided and brass ringed in the common style. I finger the brass ring in my own goatee, but it's stringy and coarse compared to his elegant bristles. I'm... Falling in love with the dwarf, apparently. How do you do? I'm just fine. Uh, some kind of inventor, are you? Once I've had a fix, I'm gonna avoid the whole fix thing. The name's Theodore Redgrave, brother, blood brothers of Boffins. Uh, expert skill of arcane. But call me Teddy, most people do. Can I call you Roosevelt? No clue what a boffin is. You just gave me the explanation of what a boffin is. Some kind of magician. Boffins, rickety, has just scared me witless. Invent things, gadgets and the like. Sprinus, your automaton, has it got a name? You look like a tinkering type. If you had a little scrap, would you be interested? That I'm interested in, but I'm also interested in the automaton's name. Your automaton doesn't have a name. This here is Otto. Otto the automaton. Really. Doesn't care for strangers, but you can't really blame him. Part of his programming. Stands to reason. One must protect himself. Can never be too careful nowadays. No, that's not silly. That's why I asked. Stands to reason. One must protect himself. Can never be too careful nowadays. I'm assuming that my choices. Like, if I do self-discipline choices, I get phlegm. 
I do spryness, I get blood. So if I want to up something, I gotta keep choosing it. Just like I have not been upping my animal instinct at all, because the animal instinct options suck. Oh, that's cool. It's filling up here. One more wit and I get another point, right? Uh, and I guess that that spawns other choices. And I'm guessing that there might be a, I don't know, uh, New Game Plus at the end of... Not this, because this is just the demo, mind you. Um, that I'll be able to benefit from these extra points. It's truth. It's the truth, right? I'm not that dumb. If I've heard it. What can I call you, sir? Abacus. Abacus Daily. Teddy pats the automaton with his uh, fat paw. Paw? Wait, paw? Where are you? You said paw. No, you're a dwarf. Why would you have a paw? Well, this must mean his, like, stubby little fingers. Mr. Daly, from the both of us, it's a pleasure. Otto's gonna need some tweaks before the brawls. Brawls? Robot battles? Robots? But we have him fits as a fiddle by then. Otto's a brawler. So far, he's only watched from the sidelines, but someday he'll fight with the other battle traps. Battle contraptions. The I'm a hunter of Bell. Oh, of, uh, the, your hunter of beasts and monsters. Evil or deadly beasts and monsters. I, uh, uh, moving on. After the werewolf fights and the outlaw wretches of the tatter beat up and worn out. The outlaws and wretches are beat up and worn out instead of Tatter Deme Demalion? Tatter Demalion? Why do you use words like that when you can just say beat up and worn out because it still fits? That's just my take. Much easier to take in for a bounty. Only three days air before the moon is full. Belly. I'm just, like, hyphenating out loud. Uh, better to have a good mind to who you're betting on. See, Animal Instincts, ah, yes, the pit fights. I've been in my fair share. Good for a wager or two. Sprinus, that's quite an occupation. Must never be a dull moment. So, I want to see this. Sprinus, that should give me blood, right? Plus one blood. That's quite an occupation. That's true. I just knew you were a man of culture. Come to think of it. A stature like yours could make for an opportunity. Would you like to have interest? Would you have an interest in joining my docket? I can pay you handsomely, of course. Won't mind getting my knuckles bloody at the right price. Take my visiting card. And we'll meet up before the moon is up. Not my taste. Convinced the pulse was right. Well, I'm interested in this, so I am going to do Animal Instinct. A calling card. Yeah, it's a, a business card. Visiting card. Whatever. Well, I'm pleased to be acquainted. I'll be calling soon. Journal entry. More journal entries. Wait a moment. If I had a little scrap to sell, would you be interested? Sure is sight. There's all sorts of gleam in the gutters. Let me know what you find, and I'm your and I'm your man, and I'm yours, man. Uh, cheers, Teddy. Be seeing you. Well, at least I got both of my things answered. And let me just go s uh, snip some uh, opium here. Ah, uh, private booth. Lattice wooden screens and high back seating provide some comfort and privacy for those who can afford it. The booths are made from a luxurious calf leather, well oiled and plush with dimpled riveting. Delicate china and exclusive menus of the den's offerings are available for those of a more discerning taste. Seems you're in for a treat on account of the stranger's pocketbook, as a fat, as fat as a Christmas goose, and it's Christmas Eve. Mm. Let's show a little restraint. Uh, wit. Still, I'd like to know what his motive is. Why invite me here? Oh, it's this guy. I didn't even realize. I thought I was looking at a stranger. Um. Whoever's angle is must be something for me. Self-discipline. He could have already killed me and collected my bounty, but he didn't. Guess I could hear him out. 
its brightest. I have to admit, I'd rather be a cozy private booth than a vomit-soaked alleyway in a deathbed. And what do I have? Brightness is 7 out of 10. Uh, might as well. Even if it's just for tonight. It's worth seeing what he's after. Shut up, old crone! Infuriating, but I can't keep the crone from intruding. Nevertheless, the stranger is waiting on me. Let's get on with this. I'd like to look around some more. No, let's just go down with it. This demo is going on much longer than I thought it would. Wit. The menu is embossed with an array of oral morphines, a liquid and powder cocaines, and many strains of midnight oil. I should definitely have a disclaimer in the beginning of this, stating that this involves a lot of drug talk. Opium is midnight oil, so that would be something I'd, I'd probably need to do. Uh, Teddy seems to have an interesting... It seems an interesting chap, and the automaton is quite something, isn't it? Uh, Sprinus. Yes, an amusing match, but I'm sure they didn't bring me here to discuss the uh, clientele. I'm gonna small talk. I'm trying to be nice. Be nice with my choices. We've got plenty of time for explanations. Why don't we start with a sample of some of the den's wares? Do they have pizza? Uh, careful now. He's obviously trying to curry favor, although it would be a loosen up. Self discipline. Nothing too strong. Still need to have your wits about you. Wit. With so many dear poisonous variations, it's hard to decide on what will hit the spot. And I'm like, a, I set this guy up for wit, yeah? Okay, let's get one more point in wit, right? Black Vile. Black Vile leveled up! And da da da! And that's plus five persuasion and plus one mechanisms. Oh! So by doing that, new perk. Permanently increase the attribute by one. All persuasion checks in an additional plus three. While bound, if this card is uh, selected in... Okay, they, they, they need to fix the hover over sound, but... Um, if a face card is selected during the skill check, gain three Vigor. Vigour. Um, you know what? I like persuasion uh, checks. Cool. So I can choose to up it, or I can, um, just by leveling anything, I can increase stuff. That is a nice little additive there that I'm curious more about. Now I want to level up more stuff. What's my next one that's close? Spryness. I need a, next one I need to pick is Spryness. Uh, with so many deer poisonous variations, it's hard to find out what will hit the spot. I can do wit again. I must say, I'm impressed by your discretion. Who would have thought that just any fix would do? Thanks, I suppose. It's not from the kindness of your heart. And one more black file, because I still want to up the uh, wit, because eventually get that one higher. Uh, doink? Well, see, if you sing the same tune when it's said and done, now then... Well, oh, we'll see if you sing the same tune when it's said, said and done. Now then... While you think about the entree, I'll prepare the appetizer. I do find this text just a little bit um, harder to read than I would have expected throughout this entire thing, but um, it may be from my meds, but I, I wouldn't be able to tell you otherwise unless I played it without them, but I'm not about to do that. Uh, he takes a small tablet out of his shirt sleeve. What's a tablet? Ooh, beep, beep, beep. Swipe, scroll, swipe left, swipe right. Ooh, I got a Tinder date. Do no, uh... Cracks it in half, drops into a mic. Uh, cracks it in half. Head in my brain just immediately went to grabbing like an iPad, snapping in half, and he dropped it into my teacup. Uh, the other half goes into his own. Homemade remedy, I. I. More black bile. Not to worry. I wouldn't kill us both, now would I? Besides, I could have done you in, done you in already if I wanted to. Ah, it's Brynus. And so I'll pass. No, I was just... Uh, I'll take it. I mean, you won't kill you. You won't kill me. You won't kill each other. I mean, I don't think this is like a, a love-death-suicide pact or something. Um, Murder-suicide? Is that it? Oh, cool. Look. 20 by Gaur, which upped my health. And then it gave me more nerve. One blood. And then blood level up. Let's go with the characters here. I've got... 
Increase your max by Gower by 10. Normal increase the attribute by 1. While bound, if the face card is chosen during a skill check, gain 3 nerve. You know what? I like that. Hey, yo, cheers to not killing anyone. Hey. The drug tea restores my spirits instantaneously. Uh, it took me ages to perfect this remedy. I'm not much for cocaine myself, but when it's blended with the turmeric and the resin of myrrh to bind the capsule, the ghastly teeth gnashing anxiety is gone, leaving just the euphoria. So we're high. Seems a stranger is no stranger to drugs. The pains of my withdrawals are all but absent now. And for the main course, how about a white wind elation? That sounds sexual. Artisan brand of opium. You must be fond of that one. His light-hearted confidence seems like a front, as if he knows you better than he's letting on. That's updated. The old crone. I still don't know who the crone is. That did not help me at all. Uh, any sort of psychic barrier is useless. The bothersome hag won't leave me be. And here I am, face to face with a telepath. Wit. The white wind happens to be my favorite, but of course, you already knew that. Yeah. We're not even gonna bother with the second one, because it's not like I'm not trying to choose any animal instinct. They just all seem to be like an asshole path. So, if I were to replay the game, I might choose the asshole path. I know a little something about you, it's true, but it's part and parcel to my profession. I keep tabs on people who pique my interest. And what is your profession exa exa exactly? Animal instinct. Have you been tracking me? Or how have you been tracking me? Oh, wait it then. What else do you need to know? Let's go with more wit. Might as well. I mean, I'm just racking that up again. I'm four out of ten. Let's say I look after Her Majesty's interests with my great Vigour, and when the when they align with my own. Uh, self-reflection. Her Majesty, has the Queen taken an interest in me? Sure, we'll get that point. It wasn't all that difficult. You only have a few haunts. Uh, that was just like a free point. On with it then. What else do you need to know? That depends. Do you want the details or shall I summarize? Uh. Alright. Let's get the deets. You do have my uh, curiosity in this game partially, so I can't completely say no. I know about your, your life as a roughneck and panhandling mage, but what about before that? About the Sacred Heart? Persuasion, never heard of it. Oh, I got a 75% chance on that one. This is my wit. I was, uh, it was there when I grew up before I looted the anus uh, coffer and took to the streets. What did I say? Uh, let's go with the chance. And left! plus 13. Right? Yeah, I did it. All right. Never heard of it. Some kind of church? Not much of a believer myself, but does he believe it? Hmm, it's possible you've effaced those memories with, yeah, so he doesn't actually believe me. So it's kind of no point, but I did get additional black bile. So tell me about your parents. Persuasion. Don't remember my mother. I, I literally have instantaneously 100% chance. Unless, wait, if it makes me draw a card, and then I get a negative one, does that mean I could possibly, uh, fail it? Okay, good. I didn't fail it. I was worried I was going to fail it, and that would have been, like, a little ridiculous to say 100% chance and then make it negative. By not minus seat 100. Maybe you're too young to recall, but if you insist on burying memories, then a dream voyage... Voyage... Voyage is in order. Some white wind to the dust the old bones. It thinks, seems to think the molasses will jog my memory. They have, like, so many words for opium. Like, they just need 
this to say opium or the drugs or something generic, you know? Well, I know you'll pack me in a bowl and I won't wake up. You'll pack me a bowl and I won't wake up from. Well, he could have killed me before. I've never used Auntie to remember anything. It's better for leaving the past behind. Opium. Opium. Oh, I've got lots of names for this. I've got my cousin Margaret. You know, Uncle Paul. Not to worry. I was a field medic in the uh, Crimean, Crimean War. Fought from 1853 to 1856, in which Russia lost to a French, Ottoman, British, and the Sardinian Alliance. Sardinian? Sardinian Alliance. I know uh, how much Miss Emma, morphine, all these pet names for drugs, let a man dream through an amputation, and how much will bring an end to his misery. Opium being a close cousin, of course. Self-discipline or wit. Merciful death, often a soldier's best provision. And that puts me at seven. I need three more. Hope this is right. As I said, if I wanted to kill you, I would have done it. But if, uh, if you can draw up those troubling times, then they're, then you're worth more than a bit of blood money. He's offering me a chance. I could never force your hand, so what will it be? A dream dose and a voyage between the banks of memory? Or a death dose? Is there a save option? Because I have to... To... Try it. I mean, right? You've had it. You can't exist in this mess of a life we've made. Bixby brings over a large lacquered bowl, usually reserved for parties of four or five. He gives the stranger a worried glance, then leans over and whispers something inaudible. The stranger nods, then offers his hand, wearing a smug look that seems to assume full responsibility for the deadly amount of opium on the table. Testing the texture of the ceramic serving spoon, you scoop out heaping pile, a heaping pile of the crumbly concentrate, rich and pale tan like foamy espresso. The aroma is intoxicating, making your skin crawl with yearning. You light up, inhaling the acrid smoke deeply. The longer you hold your breath, the more that your lungs burn, crying out for oxygen. By the time you breathe out again, the red walls are misty, and the light seems like a lie. Darkness envelops your body and mind as the grim angel of death in your vision. A hooded figure offering a pale white hand from its cloak. A hand which you take as it pulls you to your feet, weightless, lacking in feeling and emotion. This is the end. The glory omnipotent. And then retry. Because obviously I, I, I could end it there or I could not end it there. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that I have to do this all over again? Huh? So it just make me do it again. But, but, I, I, I digress that it looks like it saved all of my stats. Which is probably an oversight. Spritus, plus one blood. Because that puts me at one. Even though I had just finished that one. Uh, continuing on, continuing on. Wit. One black vial. I'm, t I'm actually curious now. I'm going to see if I can break it so you can, like, fast forward through this while I black file level up and then all mechanism skill checks gain an additional plus three that's mechanism skill checks I'm gonna increase the attribute by one the fool's value is now 15 but no longer shuffles your deck when drawn sure why not that seems like a good choice and then Sprinus. See, I'm gonna, you know, end my existence again just because I'm curious. So that puts me at one. Continuing on. Let's have a summary. You tried my patience long enough. Let's go with the details. Persuasion. 
Total versus difficulty. I did the persuasion right. Persuasion, don't remember. And so it is different checks. For all I know, you'll pack me bull won't wake up from. Okay, so that's another black file. And then we go and he's offering me a chance. And then we take the depth dose to get. Just because I'm curious. Yep, okay. You can actually use that to uh, pad your numbers. I guess would be a good way of putting it. Now we're just going to continue back to where we were. Uh, Sprinus. Wait. 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 Sprinus. I mean, look at this. I'm at 100 down here. It kept those stats, too. So it, it's uh, just a bug. Probably means for you to go back to where you were before, not to uh, max out your stats. Uh, boop, 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 boop. We already knew that. What else can we do? Blah, blah, blah. We go with the details just to go back with the where we were. Um, then never heard of it. Oh. So now that I failed that, I can read you like a serenette, a musical instrument played by cranking a gear driven barrel with brass pins. The music is encoded. Okay. Oh no, I lost five nerve. Woo! Uh, I like that matter. And now I get to know some more of the stories. Where I grew up before I looted the nun's coffer and took to the streets. Oh no, that's just the same thing. 97% chance now. Not 100. Can I remember my mother? Nope, apparently not. Journal. And then here we can level up again. The magician, while bound, all skill checks are drawn with the lowest value card highlighted. New major tarot. So all skill checks are drawn with the lowest card value highlighted. So I will know which one not to choose for the lowest. Doesn't mean it will give me the right one, but it will make sure that I won't pick the lowest one. I mean, that's a possibility, right? Okay, and then blah, 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 quit, and then take the dream dose. Now we will continue on. You take the stranger's offer, eager to lose touch with a harsh reality. You fall into an opium dream where the stranger's recent questions about your past remind you of growing up in the Sacred Heart Orphanage. The end. Or now. Really? So both choices were just the end anyway. What good does that do? None. And so now we have a continue option or a load game option. But that is the, uh, the Sovereign Syndicate. It started to get my interest. I mean, besides the words and annoyance and that kind of crap that was going on, I still started to get interested in the story. And then that is a dumb place because I learned next to nothing about the story. All I know is... Me be bull man. Me have debt to pay. He either kill me, take money from but dead body, or he take me to Dream World to try and learn about my past, I guess. Um, this is, as I said, the demo is available on Steam. Um, it just says coming soon. There is no estimated date uh, at all. I've got nothing else for you besides what you've seen so far. So, um, if folks enjoyed this, please don't hit the like button, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Other than that, I'll catch you all in the next uh, video I end up doing of, uh, apparently this is Victorian London. So, toodles, and Merry Christmas.